Sente para vosotros. 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 to Mazzaferro Field on the east campus of Bridgewater State University for today's NCAA MAZCAC Conference matchup featuring the visiting Rams of Framingham State University and your Bears of Bridgewater State University. Ladies and gentlemen, Bridgewater State University is a safe, respectful, and inclusive community. We welcome and respect freedom of speech in all forms of peaceful protest in support of social justice and racial equity. We are committed to providing and supporting, learning and growing together in a welcoming and inclusive environment. Let's meet today's starting lineups. First, for Framingham. Starting in goal, a junior from Lowell, Massachusetts, number zero, Joseph Sturzo. On defense, a senior from Swampscott, Massachusetts, number two, Cameron Lau. On defense, a junior from Chelmsford, Massachusetts, number three, Bryce Borletto McRae. On defense, a junior from Adelaide, Australia, number five, Lachlan Forgan. In the midfield, a freshman from Woburn, Massachusetts, number six, Quan Gomes. At forward, a senior from Port-au-Prince, Haiti, number seven, Jefferson Malachi. At forward, a sophomore from Copenhagen, Denmark, number nine, Gustav Hemmingsen. At forward, a freshman from Cuparque, Brazil, number 11, Caio Santos da Silva. In the midfield, a senior from Darjeeling, India, number 17, Kunfel Sina. At forward, a freshman from Assinet, Massachusetts. Number 23, Brian Penny. <laughs> On defense, a junior from Wellesley, Massachusetts. Number 33, Michael Champagne. The head coach for the Rams is Dean Nichols in his 19th season. For your Bears of Bridgewater State University. Starting in goal, a graduate student from Sandwich, Massachusetts, number one, William Russell. On defense, a sophomore from Rockland, Massachusetts, number two, Gavin Norton. 
On defense, a senior from Foxborough, Massachusetts, number three, Matthew Garcia. On defense, a junior from North Attleboro, Massachusetts, number five, Justin Silva. In the midfield, a junior from Milford, Massachusetts, number 10, Nicholas Matia. On defense, a senior from New Bedford, Massachusetts, number 14, Jacob Ramos. In the midfield, a senior from Akushnet, Massachusetts, number 17, Ethan DeMello. In the midfield, a sophomore from Cork, Ireland, number 18, Ryan Healy. In the midfield, a freshman from Bellingham, Massachusetts, number 21, Nicholas Ribeiro. At forward, a senior from East Bridgewater, Massachusetts, number 23, David Nelson. And on defense for your Bears, a freshman from Ellington, Connecticut, number 29, Ethan Mallet. The head coach for the Bears is Brendan Adams, now in his 22nd campaign. He is assisted by Victor DaCosta and Fred, Fred Berger Beckman. The officials for today's contest are Taha Nasser, Kara Hontham, and Kevin Suarez. At this time, we ask that you all now please rise and remove your caps for the playing of our national anthem. State Collegiate Athletic Conference and Bridgewater State University promote good sportsmanship by Hello and welcome and to Mazafaro Field on the east campus of Bridgewater State University. In Today we have a matchup men's soccer matchup between the visiting Framingham State Rams and your Bears of Bridgewater State University. Taking you through this game, Zach McMahon and David Souza. From the site of competition. Also, um, we'll just go through the starting lineups before we get underway in. here. Um, and net for the Rams is Joseph Sturzo, the 6'5 junior from Lowell, Massachusetts. And on, on defense, got Cameron Lau, the senior from Swampscott, Massachusetts. Uh, wearing number three, Bryce Borletto McRae, the junior from Chelmsford. Number five, Lachlan Forgan, the junior and one of the many international players on this Rams squad. He's from Adelaide, Australia, uh, went to Chelmsford High School. In the midfield, uh, uh, Quan, Quan Gomes, mid, freshman midf midfielder from Woodburn. Uh, number seven, Justin Malachi, the senior forward from Port au Prince, Haiti. Uh, number nine, Gustav Hemmingson, sophomore from Copenhagen, De Denmark. Number 11, Kyle Santos de Silva, the freshman from Brazil, went to Martha Senior High School. 
And number 17 in the midfield, it's Kunfel Sena, Sena from India. And number 23, Brian Penny. The forward from the Sewan in Massachusetts went to Pontiquet High School. And on defense, one of the captains on the team, Michael Champagne from Wellesley, Mass. And for your Bears, we got the all-reliable uh, William Russell in net for the Bears. He's the graduate student who started all eight games uh, this year. And on defense, we got Gavin Norton, the sophomore from Rockland, Matthew Garcia, the senior from Foxborough, Justin Silver, the junior from North Attleboro, Nick Nicholas Matias, the junior from Milford, Number 14, Jacob Ramos on defense from New Bedford. Uh, number 17, Ethan DeMello, midfield from the Cushman, Massachusetts, went to New Bedford High. Ryan, our very own Ryan Healy from Court Island went to Plymouth North High, High School. Number 21, Nicholas Ribeiro on the midfield from Bellingham, Mass. And the uh, top goal scorer, David Nelson, senior from East Bridgewater, and last but certainly not least, on the defense, Ethan Mallett, on the defense from Ellington, Connecticut. Very good squad for both teams today. Looking to do something. You know, the Rams coming off a four, a three-game losing streak and being shut out in each of those games. The Bears, you know, they've tied four games, but they've scored in every single game, so it'll be interesting to see what happens today. We got an early attack from Da Silva on the good save by Russell. Rams are trying to start off very early in this match. It's, I think we're going to be getting a corner kick from Cameron Lau, the senior from Swampscott. William Russell, a great player for the Bears team. He has 48 saves coming into this game. Make that, uh, I think that's probably his 50th. Yeah, they um, he just tap it like like it's a volleyball on that corner kick. As Bears try to attack, but it's gonna go right to Sturzo. Another another good goaltender for for the Rams, starting all eight games. Nicholas Ribeiro for the Bears. Might be small in stature, but don't let it fool you. He's fast. He got he got like right past the, the defense for the Rams there. Um, right now with the ball is Ethan DeMello. Gets, gets it over to Garcia. It's back to Matias. Matias overshoots uh, Mark Garcia, and it's going to be Rams' ball. The Rams are trying to figure something out to do. It's, it skips back and forth. But both teams have had possessions in the opponent's territory, but neither team is able to find anything yet. Yeah, and the uh, last pass was intercepted by Matthew Garcia. Um, da Silva uh, gets it over, and we got to get a whistle. Looks like it's probably going to be a foul on the that's Bears. It, that's Nicholas Ribeiro. It kicks the shins. <laughs> of one of the Rams players. Uh, it's going to be Michael Champagne. Oh, oh no, it's going to be Forgan with the ball now. Uh, deflected by Ribeiro. Uh, Forgan with the throw in. Look, looking for someone to pass to. De Silva. He's got to get it over to Lau. He's got to get it over to Boleto McCray. On the far side, the Bears steal the ball. The Bears have just been all over the Rams so far today. Only a few minutes into this match. but It's going to be a, a, a tough one. Really well fought game. Um, Ethan DeMell with the slide tackle, and now the Bears are on the attack. There's an opportunity for the Bears. Opportunity for Ribeiro, but not so much as Joseph Sturzo picks it up. 
headed by Silva, headed by Ramos. Yeah, that was uh, Ethan DeMalo. Uh, Garcia is gonna get it over to Nelson. Nelson tried to break his ankles, and the save by Sturzo. Nelson, the leading goal scorer for the Bears team with, I believe, three on the season. He has seven points total. He had opportunity there, but excellent save there by Sturzo. Yeah, it's going to be Sturzo. No, no, no. no. Uh, Ramos. He's going to get the first touch on the far side. Now the Bears are trying to attack. Oh, in the nasty slide tackle, and that's going to result in a foul. Ooh, that's tough. I can't tell who's on the ground who did the tackling there, but that was a this is a hard play. They got hard. I believe that's gonna. Ooh. I'm hearing that's gonna be that's a Ribeiro. Which one is it? That's <laughs> gonna be. Uh, is that, I believe that might be David Nelson. Or no, that, that's Mat uh, Mat Matias, I believe. That's Matias on the ground. On the side of the net. And the Bears' scoring chance is going to fail. But For Forgan is looking for someone to pass to. He p crosses it over to the far side. I can't confirm it was Matias, but he made a great play and position there to get the Rams to pass. Now the Silva is going to. Sent uh, Cena with the moves, and that's gonna be a for a Rams goal by Kyle Santos de Silva. I mean, that was an excellent goal there. He's starting the game off early. Yeah, an excellent footwork too. I mean, it was gonna be a goal for Kunfel Zina, the senior out of Dar Darjeeling, India. It was number 17 when he scored that. It was, oh yeah, it was Cena. Excellent goal here as David Nelson looks to set this up for the Bears. Again, every game that I believe Framingham hasn't scored, they've at least tied, they've, they've, they've won. The games where they have lost, they have not scored. The Bears have yet to go a game without scoring this season. So... Yeah, that will be interesting how the Bears answer that goal. Um, that was uh, Cena's first goal of the season. Yeah, it was just, you know, nice footwork leading up to that goal. And now he delivers the first blow in the game. David Meanwhile, Nelson, Nelson in the diving play by Sturzo as Nelson was attacking. That was a great pass there by Ryan Healy. You know, I'm not, maybe I'm not trying to be biased. You know, he's a personal friend of ours here at the broadcast, but uh, it was definitely a great pass to find David Nelson in space. It was just great defense there for the Rams, and it was saved. Meanwhile, the Rams have the ball on the far side. It looks like it was David Nelson on the defense. Cameron Lau gets over to De Silva. De Silva crosses it to the far side. No call on the play as Rams player tumbles down. Rams goal scored at five minutes and 47 uh, seconds. Too deep for Unassisted by and number 17, sent out. Kunfel Sina. And sent out by Berlo McCray. And it's going to be Bears ball in, in their offensive zone. We're going to try to see the Bears try to get the opportunity here at, at all falling over that's David Nelson and, and we get whistle. a yep and we get a, yep we get a whistle on the play David Nelson is one of the best players on this team and they, they want to get it, the ball to him in, in a scoring position where he's able to build the score but they, they've tried a few times already it hasn't been successful yet but you know, you go for your Bridgewater at some point, they're able to do it. Uh, so we're going to get a free kick. 
near the net for the Bears. See how they take this one. And it's going to be defensive bounce for the Rams. Bears have it back. Uh, Matthew Garcia near the sideline. And it's going to get it over to Healy. Healy crosses it over. A forward kick. And Cerzo is going to scoop it back up. Just incredible defense for the Rams to hold off a Bears possession there. They maintain the lead of one goal early in this game. Forgan with the ball. Gets it over to Senna. Bears have the ball now. And Senna with the defensive move. It's going to result in the Bears' ball. Healy with the throw in. Tried to get it over to Nelson. It was a high throw in by Healy there. They're going to give the yeah. ball to Russell. Russell over, over to DeMello. DeMello pass intercepted by Malachi. Malachi. Gets it over to Senna. Look for his second goal of the game, but... <laughs> there was nearly a play there made by, by Santos De Silva to get it in the net, but the Bears were recovered. But Senna almost almost gets in it again. But it was great defense there by Justin Silva. On, on the corner kick, their second, it's going to be Gomes. Quan Gomes. See how he takes this one. He gets it over to the side to De Silva. So they're saved by William Russell. Russell with the quick pass, the far pass, the long pass. Also, I believe we've got three saves in this game already. As Rivero has it. He's going to kick it back on the far side. Gets it towards N Nelson and Garcia. That's going to be no good. And we got a whistle on the play. It's going to be Rams possession. We've seen a lot of uh, a lot of aggressive plays on both sides of the ball. We've seen mm -hmm. some whistles blown for either side, some nice slide tackles from both sides. Um, this game's definitely going to be back and forth. It's going to be an aggressive one. Yeah. We're, we're in for a treat today. And Rams now the ball on the far side. He's got the passing it forward. Try to do generate another attack. It DeMello deflects the ball. And the Bears are gonna kick it out of bounds. You know, one of the most important things I believe in soccer is, you know, positioning. Get, getting in good position to break up a play is crucial in success for your team. Yeah, Forgan gets it over to De Silva. De Silva to Lau. Lau gets it over to the far side. Rams looking and Rams kick it out of bounds. I believe that's going to be a Bears ball. They're going to throw it in. It's going to be Bears ball. We get so Yeah. It's going to be Rams ball now. We're going to get a free kick. There's a foul on the Bears. Maybe a little too much contact there. Out of for a Bears defender, and uh, it's going to be a free kick for the Rams. I'm going to try to a little chat with the ref. That's going to be Champagne taking the free kick for the Rams. Champagne intercepted by DeMello. The a header, but the bear, good defense by the Bears, and it's gonna roll out of bounds with with Forgan on the throw in. 
the opportunity for the for the Rams there was, you know, it, it, it didn't work out. But Ribeiro was there. He's making plays. He's running. He's running around the field, getting making these Rams players uncomfortable. He's playing great defensively today. Meanwhile, the long kick goes out of bounds with Healy on the throw in. Garcia. Garcia and Malachi were in the battle, but Malachi won that battle. This time, Lau is going to get it towards the far side with McCray. McClay or Lau. DeMello gets him con a little bit of contact. DeMello trying to defend him. Gentle to Silva tries to get it over to Malachi. Malachi is going to let it go out of bounds. And it's going to be Bears ball. I think the, 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 the pride and joy and the, the soul of this Bears team is the defense. You know, they've, they've done a great job so far this season. They've, you know, they've tied four games, which is what you want to see. But, you know, in soccer, it's not the end of the world to tie four games. Um, you know, they haven't let up more than three goals a game in, in a game. Uh, they've, only, they've only allowed more than one goal in a game, like, twice. And, one, and only one of those was, was a loss. So. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, I mean, those four ties include the last two games. It's the first time in a regular season since 2017. Meanwhile, we got no call on the play, but there, were, there was another nasty slide tackle. And the Rams player is not very liking it very much. Meanwhile, Sturzo picks it back up for the Rams. Yeah, Justin Silva, very aggressive defensive player, but it was a, it's a clean tackle. The refs didn't call it, so it's not a, not a penalty. Yeah, the tackle was on Hemmingsen, the sophomore from Denmark. Meanwhile, the Rams have the ball on the far side. You get it over to Lau. Lau is going to get it over to Forgan. Back to Lau. Cross to the far side to McCray. McCray passes it on the far side. Bears defense. Looks like it was Norton. And the bicycle kick. He's unsuccessful. William Russell has possession. Is going to. Try to try, this is going to look good to send it deep for the Bears. This is about 16 minutes into this matchup. The yeah, that, one, nothing. yeah, that failed bi bicycle kick was by Senna. Meanwhile, the goal kick for Russell. He's going to kick it over midfield. And it's going to be a goal goalie good goalie kick as it's going to be Sturzel now picking up the throw and throwing it to Forgan <laughs> I don't like David Nelson trying to deflect that pass with his hand that'd be yeah. handball that's not what you want <laughs> he gets it sails over Nelson now the Rams attacking on the far side pass it back a oh, good defense by Ribeiro. Now the Bears are on the attack. Ribeiro's made plays both on offense and on defense so far today for the Bears. Meanwhile, it's going to roll out of bounds, and they're going to set up for a corner kick. That was their, This is going to be their first corner kick. A great chance for the Bears to get their first nod on the scoreboard. Ribeiro only 5-4, but you know, definitely making a statement. And there's nothing wrong with being, you know, short. I'm a short person. <laughs> I mean, I, and I'm a tall person. So. Yeah. So it's there's nothing there's nothing wrong with being short. You get, it's what you do with your height that makes it makes it worth it. Ribeiro clearly proven, you know, like size doesn't matter. He's playing really well. Meanwhile, Demello kicks it out of bounds, and Sturzel's gonna be on the goal kick. Got to get over to Forgan. Forgan tries to get Senna, but it's going to be no good. It's Bears defense pick it up. That's the Bears defense is going to kick it outside. It's Justin Silva. Justin Silva. 
and looks like they're going to give it to Jefferson Malachi, the Haiti native, on the throw in. His center tried to pa pass it to a Rams player. Hemmingson kicks it aside. Oh, hits the uprights. That's a doink the, right there. The the law the tall kick hits the uprights, and the Russell is gonna have a goal kick. That was more of a warning shot. It's like I can kick it like this. You don't want you don't want to mess with me. Russell is going to kick towards the 40-yard line. We're going to get a few headers in before the ball is placed on the ground. Nelson trying to fix some moves, and it's going to be tall and wide. He's just high for David Nelson. It was it, it had the accuracy. It just it was not it was just too much power on that kick and went over the net. Meanwhile, Sturzo is going to give it back to a four again. Lau trying to find someone to pass to, and he does. Oh, and the interception by Norton. Whoa. Oh, got a little collision on the far side. No whistles. Coach Ramos Bennett. hits it. Coach Bennett out his water to whistle. Didn't get it. The play continues. Meanwhile, it looks like it's Hemmingson trying to find someone to pass to, but the Bears defense kick it outside, out of bounds. And it's going to be a throw-in by Brian Penny, the freshman from Asonit. And the side tackle by Justin Silva. It's a long ball. And Bears on the attack, the Nelson... Trying to trying to evade a few def uh, Rams defenders, but that's going to be no good. Meanwhile, De Silva kicks it to the far side. Hemmingson and Hemmings Hemmingson was outside, so it's going to be Bears ball. The yeah, unfortunate position to be in. You don't want to get called off sides when you have there's nothing there's nothing in front of you except the goalie and the net. Yeah, it's going to be Ramos on the free kick. Ramos is going to cross it over to... And Senna take, takes a little tumble. Healy on the throw-in. Going to get it over to Ribeiro. But Ribeiro that's going to be out of, out of bounds. It's going to be Balachi. Balachi to De Silva. DeMolo for the Bears. He kicks it towards the Bears logo. Back to DeMolo. It's going to be, I think it was Ethan Mallet. Uh, DeMolo, he kicks it forward. And we're going to get a whistle. Bears ball. There's Ramos with it. Ramos on the far side trying to look for somebody to pass to. It, and it looks like it's off the Rams defender. So it's we're going to get another, the second corner kick for the Bears. Yeah, and Ramos tried to get in position to get past the defense. Was unable to do so. But this is able to get the ball out of bounds off the foot. Of a Rams player, yeah. and it's gonna be, looks like it was gonna be Nicholas Matias on the corner. Matias gets it off. Sturzo, a little tap for Sturzo, tumbles down. We're gonna get another whistle. It's gonna be a foul. Looks like a foul on the Bears. It's gonna be Sturzo throwing it for the Bears or the, the Rams. 6-5. We got <laughs> almost a foot yeah, taller than Ribeiro. But, you know, again, sizes and everything. For goalies, it, it does matter a little bit more, though. 
having a taller goalie. He's got more space in that net. Meanwhile, off the deflection from Ribeiro. Now it's Senna. Good. Good defense by Ribeiro, and he takes a tumble. And he's going to draw, draw a whistle. And it's going to be Healy with the free kick. Healy sends it to Justin Silva. Gets it to Ramos. Ramos back to Russell. Russell has to be careful here. And he gets it safely to a Bears player. Uh, uh, Justin Silva. Justin Silva to Healy. Healy, Healy to Ribeiro. Ribeiro to Nelson. Well, not, not Nelson. No, Mallet. Mallet. The freshman from Connecticut. I saw the two, and I thought it was a three. It was a nine. Ramos moving up. Back to Healy. Healy tries to get kick it towards the net. Mallet taps it. Ramos on the attack. Ramos gets it over Garcia. Garcia with the long kick. Uh, off the post. That was off the crossbar. Right off the crossbar. It was an accurate kick if it was just slightly lower. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure Sturzo was able to, to get his hands on it and deflect it, but that was very, that was a very good kick there. Rams. Uh, Forgan with the ball. Forgan. He's going to kick it towards Silva. Silver is gonna get the ball back from off off the feet from Russell. Mallet is gonna get it over to the far side. Matias kicks it back. And is gonna kick it towards the bleachers. And that's gonna be Ram's ball. Rams keeping up their their aggression up front. Try to try to force the Bears to make a mistake, but they've been unsuccessful so far. I mean, they have got have gotten a goal, but other than that, they have seen nothing come to fruition for them. After the ball breezes by Nelson in the hands of Sturzo, we get a whistle, and the uh, referees have a chat with the Rams sideline. It looks like. There's still going to be a free kick, a goalie kick for Sturzo. They are waiting for the signal to could resume play. And there it is. Forgan. Off the, off the kick. If Oregon pushes him down, that's going to be Bears ball. Pushes Garcia, draws the foul. That was solid defense by Garcia there to get in the way and knock the ball out of, out of Rams' possession. It's going to be Matias with the free kick. Matias is looking for his third goal of the season or his second assist. He is from Milford, went to school in Framingham. So, you know, that's yeah. the hometown of, of, the, of his opponent. So, maybe, maybe he's a secret double agent. Who knows? <laughs> I, I doubt that. It's either going to be Matias or just Chance Ribeiro, and it's going to be Matias. The header is going to be wide. That's going to be. Another field scoring a chance by the Bears. That's a too high for David Nelson there. Unable to get the ball in the net. Meanwhile, the Rams are playing on the far side. R Ramos intercepts it. Uh, Ramos has the ball back on the far side. Get it over to Mallet. Mallet, it's surrounded by Rams defenders. And it's going to be Senna. Kicks it towards the out of bounds line. It's going to be Healy with a free kick. Yeah, this Bears defense makes plays. Silva is 
going to take the kick. Silva's one of the best defenders on this Gar team. Gar uh, Silva. Okay, never mind. Uh, Ramos on the far side, speeding up. The ball is going to... Looks like the ball is going to get off the feet from Hemmingson. And we're going to get a third corner kick. It's interesting to see Ramos play so far into the opponent's territory when he's a defenseman and a very good one at that. The Bears have really solid defensive players on this team. He's going to kick it over to the side, set it up. Right, it's going to they're gonna fall, they're gonna get the ball to William Russell there, avoiding disaster for the moment. Yeah, that was off the feet of Gavin Norton, the Rockland native. It's going to be McRae. It's going to pass it to a Rams player on the far side. Another strong tackle there for DeMello. It didn't come, to, no, they came out of it. It wasn't a desired outcome for that. Meanwhile, Rams are. We got a little collision, but with Senna bumped into one of the Bears players, but no call on the play. Yeah, well for Silva, you know, you can you can call it you can call him aggressive. I call him passionate. He's very, you know, he, he's he plays defense and he plays that well. Meanwhile, Mallet is looking for someone to pass to, but no good. He's gonna kick it out of bounds. Malachi's not Malachi. But Forgan is going to throw it in for the Rams. Forgan is a junior out of Adelaide, Australia. So he's a, he's a, he's a bit far from, from home. The high school at Chelmsford. We're just about 30 minutes into this matchup. This is going by pretty quickly. This has been a pretty pretty quick 30 minutes. Not a lot of stoppage of time for yeah. this match. Off the header from Garcia. And Ribeiro is going to cause a foul. Trips up Kawan Gomes there. And it's going to be Michael Champagne, the junior captain from Wellesley on the free kick. Meanwhile, Forgan gets it back to Champagne. Champagne with the long kick. Off the header. And it's going to be uh, Garcia. Nelson has a chance. Good footwork. And it's going to be wide. Just wide left of the goal. And I think, I think Sturzo knew that. He sort of didn't really go for it, but... I mean, what, a, what an attempt. David Nelson, he takes a lot of shots. Coming into this game, he had 21 for the Bears. That's which, which leads the team. He's also leads them in points, leads them in goals. He has nine, shot, he had nine shots on goal coming into this game. Yeah, and Nelson has five shots currently in this first half. Meanwhile, the, the Bears, looks like it's going to be Ramos. Throwing it in on the far side. Rams kick it out of bounds once again. We're going to get another throw in for the Bears. Mallet is going to kick it back towards Healy. Healy to Garcia. Garcia intercepted. Bears on the attack. Garcia with the good slide tackle. Diogo Diogo Monji, if that's how I pronounce it, is in for the Rams. He's he's in for Jefferson Malachi. Meanwhile, the Bears have a couple couple of substitutions. Chyla Chang for Gavin Norton. Filippo Mucci for Nicholas Matias. It's, that, was a, that was another opportunity there for 
the Bears are unable to capitalize on the on the very strategic positioning there. Meanwhile, Forgan is going to kick it back to Champagne. Champagne kicks it. It's going to be two towards the far side. Rams are attacking. Off the header from Ramos. Head back to Russell. Russell is going to throw it towards Healy. Healy is going to give it to Ramos. Ramos with the long kick. Silva. The kick there. Out of bounds. Off of Rivera. Did something noted. Something It's interesting I've noticed. Ryan Healy listed as a midfielder but is playing a lot of defense in this game. A lot, of, a lot of plays in the defensive position. He ran his ball. Mm. Uh, Mallet. Uh, Mucci. He's going to kick it back. Ribeiro. Surrounded by Rams defenders. Kicks it back to Mallet. He's going to kick it back to Silva. Silva is going to kick it towards the far side to Ramos. Ramos is going to pass it. A good little fake there. Ribeiro. Ribeiro's trying to kick towards Nelson. Nelson with the score! David Nelson! That is his fourth goal on the season for the Bears. And I told you, the Bears have not won a game yet this season without scoring at least a goal. Yeah, so the Bears have got to tie it up off the feet of David Nelson, the senior from East Bridgewater. Yeah, that, that just came at a you know, right angle. Nelson knows how to do it best on this team. He's just going to tie it up. Excellent work there for the Bears to tie this up. They already have four ties in the year. What's one more? But they have still have plenty of time left in this game to play. Yeah, that would be the most ties in a season in program history if they were to tie in this game. And again, ties aren't the end of the world, but you know you want you want W's. The Bears with only one loss in the year with three wins. But yeah. again, that's the, it's the four ties that, you know, you don't want to tie, but you'll certainly take it. Yeah, no, it's just because it, it's, it's better than losing. Yeah, and those, there's three ties that contributes to a six-game unbeaten streak. It's different than a winning streak because it's not all wins, but... <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, DeMello is going to kick it back towards Ramos. Ramos is looking for someone to pass. Scissoring through the Rams defense. I'm pretty sure. I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure. Again, Ramos, a, def a defensive player, playing very high and deep into the opponent territory, trying to make a play. Meanwhile, Mallet. Ramos takes a tumble, but it's going to be Rams ball. It's going to be a foul for the Bears. Meanwhile, that goal from David Nelson was assisted by Matthew Garcia. According to the uh, stats. This is, I believe, his first assist on the year for Garcia. Mm -hmm. yeah, finally getting on the stat sheet in a scoring position. And meanwhile, Mucci is going to kick it Towards, towards the end zone. It is out of bounds. I don't know why I said it like that. It just felt right. <laughs> Sturzo is going to kick it towards the far side. Bears goal scored at 34 minutes and Meanwhile, the Bears seconds. defense going to intercept it. Nelson looking goal for a second goal. Goal scored by number 23, it. David Garcia. Nelson. And the score from Garcia. Getting on the scoreboard by the assists. 
as our PA announcer was announcing it. And Garcia gets his first goal of the season. What a play. Garcia having himself a game. It's three points on the game. Two for the two points, two scores total for the Bears. But two, two yeah, a goal counts towards two points. An assist counts for one point. Three points all by himself today for Garcia. That's his first three points of the season. Again, the Bears have taken the lead in this game. Will it be Omochi with it? Gets it to Ryan Healy. And it's going to be Rams ball. Meanwhile, there's a couple of substitutions. Uh, Jack O'Toole is coming in, uh, wearing number four. The junior from Wilbraham is in for Jacob Ramos. And for the Rams, Carl Hemmingson is in for Cameron Lau. Bears goal scored at 36 minutes and 35 seconds. Goal scored by number three, Matthew Garcia. Uh, Garcia assisted was assisted by, by Nicholas Ribeiro and David Ribeiro Nelson. And number 23, David Nelson. Meanwhile, the Rams have the free kick. It's a good game for both Nelson and Garcia today. Each, each with a goal and an assist. Meanwhile, the Rams try to answer those two goals with an attack on their own. Silva so heads it away. Finds Fubio Bucci. Which is a tackle. Let's no call. It. It's a clean tackle. Meanwhile, Garcia, looking for more, is going to pass it, but is going to be Rams intercepted. Sturzo, off the feet of Sturzo. He's, he's going to find Champagne. Champagne to Forgan. Forgan back to Champagne. Rams trying to move a ball around to find an open lane. Meanwhile, it's McCray. McCray gets on the far side. Gomes. Meanwhile, it's going to be David Nelson on the attack on the far side. David Nelson also looking for more. Off the head off a Rams player. It's going to be... Uh, Mel Moonkey. Meanwhile, in the end zone, Rams have a far a kick that goes to Healy. Healy to DeMello. DeMello pass to a player on the far side. P player to Mallet. Mallet kicks it towards the far side. Bears are on the attack. He tries to cross it to a Bears player. That's going to be no good. And Rams are going to have ball. And the Rams are looking to have an answer. They have over a half to figure it out. But you know, the Bears haven't allowed more than one goal in a game since their win against UMass Boston on September 18th. They've only done it twice this year where they've allowed more than one goal. They haven't allowed more than three. Meanwhile, it's going to be Gar Garcia with the throw in. Ribeiro passes intercepted by the Ram player and he's going to kick it out of bounds. It's going to be Garcia with the throw in. Garcia with the throw in looking for his second assist. Back to Garcia from Ribeiro. Mallet is going to kick it towards the far side to O'Toole. O'Toole 
kicks it to a Bears player on the far side. Well, it fell over, didn't let He's going to cross it towards Garcia. Garcia Ooh. checks Sturzo, and he is down. That was an unfortunate moment for Sturzo. But an excellent save. He was able to hold on to it, but hit the ground hard, you know. They always say the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Starts out standing at 6'5", certainly a, a, a big guy. And yeah, if Sturzo needs to come out, um, it's going to be Adriel Moreno, the fine. freshman, but he's not going to be coming out. Sturzo powers through that. Meanwhile, the Rams try to answer those two goals on the far side, but they're going to kick it out of bounds. Well, not the Rams, but the Bears player is going to kick it out of bounds because it looks like it's, we're going to be getting a corner kick. They're going to just bring it in. The Rams are going to try to set up a play. With about three and a half minutes remaining in this first half, of a, of a pretty exciting soccer game mm -hmm. or a football match you know, whatever you want to call it it's pretty great yeah for for those uh, for those watching you know outside the United, United States it's we'll call it football too <laughs> football let's go meanwhile bears have it on the far side Kick it to DeMello. Back to Ribeiro. Ribeiro gets tripped up. It's probably going to be a call on the Rams. And Carl Hemmingson is going to get a yellow card against him for tripping up uh, Ribeiro it was Ribeiro so Bears will be setting up for a free kick Ribeiro has made a lot of plays today he's looking to make another one We're waiting to see if we get set. Um, the coach just got a yellow. Oh, microphone. I believe so, Ryan. Was that a yellow card for the coach? That's very interesting. Which coach? Framingham? Framingham's coach. That's Dean Nichols getting a yellow card. Very interesting to see that. So two yellow cards are on Carl Hemmingson and Rams head coach Dean Nichols in his 21st season. So tensions are high for the Rams, to say the least. Uh, I mean, it's you you like seeing the coaches get involved, but you don't want them, you know, getting. Yellow cards. I mean, how, what even happens if your coach gets ejected from the game? <laughs> I mean, we see, we see a lot of that in baseball, but probably not as much in soccer. <laughs> can, can, can you even eject the coach? If the coach gets a red card, how does that even work? <laughs> I mean, they do have assistant coaches, so I guess one of them can take over. But hopefully, we won't see that today. Possibly John Nichols, or Jared Curry, or Josh Arno. Who knows? Meanwhile, the Rams have it on the far side. He's going to try to get it over to Carl Hemmingson. Meanwhile, Rams are in the attack. Justin Silva kicks it away. And it's going to be... Yeah, smart play by Silva. Meanwhile, Forgan. Forgan gets it over to Carl Hemmingson. Carl Hemmingson to Malachi uh, Forgan. A long kick 
off the heads of a Bridgewater player. And it's going to be a steal. Looks like Ribeiro. No. It's going to be Tyler Chang with the steal. Meanwhile, the ball is going to get back to Silva. O'Toole on the defense. Silva picks, intercepts the ball. Meanwhile, uh, Mucci is going to be kicking it back to Russell. Out of bounds. Diogo. Ramongue. Ramongue. How do you play? Sorry, I'll, I'm going to get it right. Yeah. Diogo Malmongi, I believe. I apologize. Yeah, we, we do have pronunciation guides, but, you know, we're trying our best. They're not, <laughs> they're, they're not perfect guides. Meanwhile, the Bears' kick is going to go right towards Sturzo. Ten seconds remaining in this first half. Yeah, they probably give you a 30-day grace I was just trying to figure something out. But. A good defensive play by Garcia in the final seconds. And that's going to end the first half. Bears 2, Rams 1. Of two great goals from Matthew Garcia and David Nelson. Not in that order, but in the south. They both had the end of both of them, so. Right. So we're going to be back in about 15 minutes. With Zach McMahon and David Souza. Thank you for watching.
Garcia is still on the board regardless. So with that goal, we're gonna we're on the way here in the second half. The Bears have possession to start things off. See if they tack on some more. Me but it's intercepted by De Silva. The Bears have the ball back with Ramos. Ramos to Ribeiro. Ribeiro's trying to get it over to Chang. That's going to be no good. But Nelson. Nelson passes over towards the near side to Chang. Chang back to Ribeiro. No, no. It's going to be Mallet. He's going to be back to Silva. Towards midfield, it's DeMello. DeMello passes over to far side. He's going to be back to Mallet. Mallet. Kicks it towards Ramos. Ramos, he scores! No whistle. I don't believe it's going to be offside. It's going to be a clean goal for a green leader called Ramos. It, it looks like it was Ramos on the goal. This is going to be congratulating for the dive from the Ritchie. So, it's a big one is like an excellent goal for the fans. They take one lead. There's a really lot of outs so far this season. So that game going up by three goals. Yeah, and that was the uh, loss against St. Joseph at home. That game was supposed to be away, but due to issues. But, but anyways, the Bears have possession. It's Filippo Mucci with the goal, assisted by Ethan Mallett. Mucci's second goal of the season. It's for the, the Italian viewers at home, Filippo Mucci with, his, with a goal in this game. And meanwhile, Rams have possession with McCray. McCray is going to give it over to Champagne. Bears defense try to intercept it, but Rams keep possession on the far side. Rams moving the ball around, surrounded by Bears defenders. Try to get over to Gustav Hemmingson. And that shot attempt. Bears goal scored at the 46 no minute mark. Meanwhile, Rams on Goal the throw in by, by Malachi Filippo on the far Mucci. side. It's going to be Senna. Senna Assisted with the kick saved by Russell. That goal by Mucci is the second on the season. I don't know if you said that already. I did. Okay, so I'm sorry. I should pay better attention to things you say. My bad. Meanwhile, Mallet is trying to avoid De Silva, but that's going to not happen. 
Meanwhile, Da Silva gets it over to. Wait, no, that was not Da Silva. S Sina. Sina with the goal in this game already. Rams looking to strike, but whistle is blown. Yeah, it looks like it was Healy uh, over there on the far side who's going to cause a whistle. It's going to be Senna. Kick it back for the free kick. And I think we're going to get an offside call for the Rams. Because I did see a flag go uh, get waved up by by a referee on the near side. It's gonna be a goalie kick. Russell Russell has a has a boot on him. He could send this deep. That's exactly what he does. Gets it to gets it to Rams territory, but headed around back into Bears territory. Meanwhile, Chang is in a battle with Penny. That's gonna go out of bounds. Ramos with the throw in. Nelson. We'll throw it to Nelson. That's gonna be no good. Um what was that it was out defended by Bucci. Now it's gonna be Ramos with the throw in. To DeMello. DeMello. Surrounded by Gomes. So if we can get this to Russell. Let's we'll be careful. Yeah, it's G August of Hemmingson try trying to put pressure on Russell. He's going to kick it towards the far side regardless. Meanwhile, Rams have a chance. They lose it. Healy recovers it. Rivero has it. Rivera on the attack. It's gonna get it over to Chang. Chang looking for someone. Move the ball around. Get, kicks it back to DeMello. And DeMello is gonna kick it back into Bears territory with Healy. Healy's gonna kick it towards the far side. Fighting for it. And we get a whistle on the play. And it's going to be a foul on the Bears. So the whistle's on Ethan Mallett, the freshman out of Ellington, Connecticut. We got Garcia kick it back to, to Champagne. Champagne kicks it towards the far side. Back to Champagne. Nelson defending. Back to the far side, Mucci defending. And it's gonna be looks like it's gonna be Silva that kicks it out of bounds to avoid a corner kick instead of throw in. Rams trying to get their second goal of the game. Sets up good footwork. But that's not going to result in anything. The Bears' defense stop him. Santos the Silva was looking for a flag, did not, or, a, or a foul. A foul, was yeah. Not getting it. I'm good. My, my my sports are mixed up. My football's mixed up. Off the post. The shot off the post. That was so close for the Rams. Oh, my, my jaw is on the ground. That was that was crazy. Two attempts there for the Rams to get it in, and they're going to say it's. There's no goal. It came off the post and back into play and then out of bounds. That yeah. Was, what? <laughs> what? What did they say? The post is the goalie's best friend. Yeah. If there was, if there was an opportunity for the player to score, it was there. Russell with the goal kick. The last two shots were by De Silva. Now the Rams are gonna head it by with uh, Brian Penny. Rams, are gonna, uh, the Bears are gonna receive it. Moochie, he's gonna get it over to Chang. Chang is defended by Penny. Malik kicks it back to Ramos. Ramos is gonna cross it to the far side to Healy. 
Healy is going to kick it to Ribeiro on the far side. Do a little setup play. Ribeiro back with the ball. Barrow gets tripped up, and that's going to cause a whistle. Presumably a foul, and it's going to be a foul on the Rams. Good job, Ribeiro, to draw that flat, the draw the foul there. I, I got a, a foul. Just draw the foul mm -hmm. there to get, get the ball and keep it in Bears' possession. And Ramos with the long kick. He assists the opportunity. is no good. It's blocked out by Rams defenders. The backwards kick is going to go towards Garcia. He's going to pass it to Ramos. Ramos looking for a line. He can go deep. Ramos gets a little bit tripped up, but stays back up. Ramos crosses it. Rams head it. But the Bears get back possession of the ball. He kicks it towards Nelson. But it's going to be picked up by Sturzo. And Sturzo is going to roll it towards the far side. Sturzo wearing number double zero, but in our, our program it says he's wearing single zero. So, a bit confusing, but no big deal. Not not that much, though. No, no big deal. It's just, it's, 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 it, it's, it's just wrong, but it's not a big deal. It <laughs> it's only really matters if it... If player is wearing double zero and zero, single zero on the same team. Yeah. But meanwhile, a ball towards Chang. Now Chang is going to look for a insist opportunity, but we're going to get an out-bounds call as Gomes try to clear it. That's going to be Bears ball. Ramos with it. Ramos standing at 5 for 10, but he looks kind of tall on me, but what no, do I know? <laughs> everyone's tall. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, Nelson tries to find somebody to score a fourth goal. But that's going to be blocked out by Rams defenders. It's going to be out of bounds with Ramos once again with, with the throw in. Ramos throws towards the goal. It's going to be off the foot of Mucci. Rams had the ball, but we're going to get a whistle. And a foul on Bridgewater State. And Champagne is going to kick it back to Sturzo with Nelson giving him pressure. Meanwhile, the Rams are on the far side. It's going to kick it to the side a little bit, but looks like Ribeiro... If I'm not mistaken, Ribeiro once again takes a tumble, but no call on the play. That was clean. Doing, the, doing little man dirty over there, but that was a clean, that was a clean steal there. Meanwhile, Healy is going to get it over to Mucci. Bears have possession on the far side. It's going to get it to Garcia. But so he's going to be... He's stopped by the Rams defenders. Can we allow on the play there? It's gonna be Brian Penny, the freshman out of uh, Aponaquit. Meanwhile, uh, Cinna, uh, Da Silva is gonna kick it towards Hemmingson with with uh, Silva giving him a little little bit of body. We're going to get a whistle on the play. And it's going to be a Rams free kick. Which Lau is going to kick it towards the far side. We kick it back towards the 40 yard line. Now, Boleto McCray has possession. He's going to kick it towards the goal. But he, Russell is going to scoop, pick it up. Excellent collection there Catch by it. William Russell. Just collects it. Keeps the keeps the ball out of the net, keeps the play in play. Meanwhile, Ramos is intercepted by the Rams. Mallet uh, get, get, uh, gets the ball up for the Rams. Uh, um, the Bears defense. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ribeiro is going to get it over the Mallet. Mallet's going to cross it towards Mucci. Mucci and Forgan's going to head it towards the out of bounds line, but he's going to save it. 
going to be Healy towards Mallet. Mallet looking for someone to pass to. He's going to pass it back to Ramos on the near side. Ramos is going to pass it to Ribeiro. Ribeiro is going to be tripped up once again. Uh, he's a little bit shaken on, on the play on the near sideline. Looks like it's... He's, he seems to be walking around just fine, but a little, little shaken up. But he seems, he's good. He, he's going to keep playing. So maybe a little winded. But, you know, little guys like us, we're, we, we're strong. We, we, get, we get right back up. Meanwhile, it, so that's going to be counted as a foul towards the Rams. And it's going to be Ribeiro himself on the free kick. We're going to try to get this over the wall. He's just get headed and he's headed away. And it's going to be a, a nice bat down by the by the goalkeeper, Serzo. In the nut! The great defensive play. Looks like by Mucci. What a play by Mucci. Meanwhile, Ramos is going to give it over to Mallet. Mallet's going to get it to the far side. A ball towards Mucci. Looking for goal number two, but that's going to be no good. Meanwhile, we're going to have a ball on the far side. But Play there's a player down. He's been down since that, that contact, I believe, with Flavio Mucci. Mucci made that play. He's been down since then. He just got up now. And we're going to stop the clock here, here at P Peter Mousafaro Field. It's Ga Gustav Hemmingsen, the sophomore out of Copenhagen, Denmark, that's limping on the sideline. As it comes off, it is replaced by Brainer DePina out of Cape Verde. A lot of international players on this Framingham roster, Framingham State roster. Yep, uh, DePena is wearing number eight. He's sophomore on a Fogo, if that's how you pronounce it. Kate Verde went, uh, graduated out of Roxbury Prep. Meanwhile, Nelson had a cl um, almost clear chance, but he's gonna Rams on the attack. Rams have a chance to cut the deficit, but surrounded by the Bears defenders. And it's going to be a kick. Wide and left. Wide left. Uh, the excellent deflection there by Russell to get it out of, get it out of harm's way. But just, it, well, Russell's having himself a great season so far this year. Yeah, and he's been able to keep, you know, Bears record to only one loss on, on the season. Um, meanwhile, the we got a few bear substitutions. So it's going to be Nicholas Matias for Filippo Mucci, Thomas Terry for David Nelson. Uh, Gavin Norton is going to be back in for Matthew Garcia. Thomas Terry, important to mention, is second on the Bears team in points with two goals and two assists on the season. Uh, on the field, he got Borletto McCray. He's going to kick it towards the Bears defense. Matias is going to try to kick it towards Chang, who tried to head it. Now it's going to be ch back to Chang on the far side. And it's going to roll out of bounds. See what possession it is. It's going to be Bears possession. With Looks like it's going to be Healy on the throw in on the far side. It's gonna roll out of bounds once again. Looks like it was it's off a Bears player and it's gonna be Rams ball. Who threw it in? And Rams. Uh, Bears defense want good defense by Ribeiro once again. And it looks like it was Chang that um, kicked it on the far side. And it's gonna roll one out of bounds once again. Rams ball. Forget with the throw in. It's going to get it over to Malachi. Malachi's going to kick it back. And 
Rams try to find out something, finding someone an answer. Meanwhile, uh, Gomes. Oh, we got a little fight. Ooh, wrapped up. Ooh, that looks and, that looks painful. Yeah, Boleto McClay is limping up on the play. Yeah, a little tussle with Ribeiro. But looks like McCray, I don't know if he, he's going to stay in. Uh, that is, that's that's some strength. You know, that's that's some resistance. I I don't I was scary. He got wrapped up. Ribeiro was incidental contact. I'm sure. We got another collision off of that header, but Ram player able to get back up. Ribeiro, cause of the last foul, is has possession. Is going to get it back. To Norton, I believe. To Norton. It's gonna keep try trying to get it towards Terry. It's gonna be no good. You mentioned the, the loss of Gustav Hemmingson for the Rams is huge. Is Hemmingson Bears defense pick it off. Big collision. The Hemmingson second of the team in goals with three. Meanwhile. It's going to be Sinna. You pass it over to a Rams player. Off the side of the net. It looked for like it could have gone in, but it was on the side, hit the side of the net. You know. A lot those, th there is some aggression out there from these players. They are passionate about what's, about this game. And they, they, they're they showing it. They're, yeah, they're the, Ram, the Rams try to, fu try to try a little scuffle with... Um, Ramos. But anyways, Forgan. Forgan gets tripped up once again. He said the aggressiveness is, you know, at a at a high here in the second half. The Bears don't want to give up another goal. And you know the, the good the, the, the Rams want another goal, they're gonna be aggressive now. Meanwhile the Bears have possession on the far side after after the defensive play results in them having the ball. Meanwhile, the... <laughs> right, it's going to be... It's going to be... Cena on the... Uh, off, who caused the offside. Russell is going to kick it around the 30-yard line. Russell is going to try to get over to Norton. Norton heads it. Okay, okay, who's is going to be Bears ball? It's off the head. It's actually going to be off the head of. If it's Bears ball, it's going to be off the head of Penny. A couple of substitutions in. We'll get to you the substitution once we get it on the stats. Meanwhile, Ramos is going to be throwing in once again for the Bears. Rams try to clear it. That's going to be deflected by DeMello. McCray is trying to get a quick throw in, but that's going to be slowed down by the Bears' defense. He kicked it back to Champagne. Champagne crossed it over to the far side. Right now, well, Mungay had the ball. That's going to be out of bounds with Forgan with the throw in. With Forgan had the first touch. It's going to be Champagne. It's going to get over to McCray. McCray's going to field it. McCray is going to kick it towards the Bears' goal. A header. But it's going to be cleared by the Bears' defense. Meanwhile, we got a couple substitutions. I want to get out of the way. Will Hellman is in for Thomas Terry. That's uh, number seven. With the headband. Yep, with the headband. <laughs> uh, Diogo Mamungi is in for Quan Jones. Uh, Gomes. 
And those are your substitutions. Meanwhile, Rams had possession on the far side. And it's going to be a Bears ball. The throw in by... Looks like it's going to be Healy once again. Yeah, Healy's done a lot for this Bears team. Today. I don't know if he's even checked out at all. Been substituted. He's just been playing the whole time. He's been, been a stalwart on defense for the Bears today. He's really been a stalwart. It's a uh, Ribeiro. He's been, you know, speeding up and you know, taking a ball away from the Bear, uh, Rams offense. Meanwhile, a kick towards a kick out of bounds by the Bears player. It's going to result in a throw-in. We're going to get a whistle. Ref's making some calls. And play resumes with the Rams on the far side. In a battle with Bears defenders. Bears kick it out. Bears kick it out once again. A little collision with uh, Mucci. It's because how close the bench is to the field. It's almost like this player said to avoid <laughs> getting hit in the head when I the know, kick it I out know. of bounds. Rams are going to throw it back in. And meanwhile, looks like Gustav, uh, Gustav Hemmingson is back in after that injury. That's good to see. He's not, 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 too, not, not too bad of an injury and he's back in able to play. All right, we got a flurry of substitutions. Uh, Hemmingson is in for a Lau. Uh, Arthur Santos da Silva is in for Justin Malachi. Uh, presumably, he's the brother of Caio Santos da Silva. Um, and Mucci is in for Nicholas Matias. Meanwhile, on the field, Domelo is going to try to get Helbin. Helbin to Norton. Norton with the cross. It's Bears have a chance. That's going to go wide. Bears out possession. It's off the body of Sturzo. Sturzo really got his hands on it and able to deflect what could have been another Bears goal. Yeah, that would have been off the feet of Mucci, who's, who already scored in this matchup. We have 20 minutes remaining in this matchup. Uh, Borlato uh, McRae is going to get it over to Champagne. Champagne is going to pass it on the far side. He's going to get it over to Kyle Santos to Silva. To Silva? No, that was a uh, Cena. Cena's shot was blocked. Cena making an athletic play, trying to just get his leg up and do anything with the ball, but it was out of bounds. Cena was unable to make contact with it there, but the ball ends up going out of bounds. It was going to be a William yeah. Russell goalie kick. And that last shot was by Gus of Hemmingson. Um, um, after the Cena block shot. It's, uh, Brian Penny is going to pick it up. He's going to get it over. Gus of Hemmingson is going to kick it to the side. To, to Kyle Santos to Silva. Rams need to do something and fast. The clock is ticking. Yep, 18.50 left in the game. As McRae is going to pick it up. It's a brain, a De Pina. Rams are going to get possession back. Defended by Mucci. Rams defended by Chang. And the ball is going to roll out of bounds. And we're going to get a corner kick. It's going to be the Rams' fifth corner kick of the game. He's going to kick it to the side. Saw that a couple times in this game. Chang def def deflects. And Kyle Santos da Silva is going to kick it out of bounds. That's going to result in a throw-in for Ryan, the Bears. Ryan Healy with a throw-in for the Bears. I don't know why I said that so quickly, but... Ryan Healy is a throw in for the Bears. Is that better? <laughs> a little better. Okay. Rams have possession. The Bears are able to take it from him. And it's going 
Gonna be Ramos fielding it. Ramos, he's got some speed. Ramos gonna try to get over to Nelson. Nelson, who's back in for Ribeiro. We're gonna get a whistle and and Cena is on the ground. And that's gonna result in a Rams free kick, I presume. Brandon DePina is making a case for himself against the at least talking to the referee. And it's gonna be a foul on the on the Bears defense. It's gonna be Michael Champagne, it looks like. On the free kick. Champagne gets it off towards the Bears goal. And the oh. shot is way too high for Arthur Arthur Santos da Silva. It was too high and too far to the right. But it was a, de a decent shot attempt. They need they, they need that real bad. The Rams do. Meanwhile, Justin Silva just picked up a yellow card on that foul. We got another whistle after Gomes heads it. I'm not, I'm not surprised Silva gets the yellow card. Like I mentioned earlier, he's a very aggressive player. Mm -hmm. Plays with a lot of passion, and, and sometimes you know that get, that gets you gets you some gets you in some trouble. And meanwhile, Malley is gonna cross it on the free kick. Rams are gonna um, looks like it was Arthur Santos to Silva that heads it out of bounds. That's gonna result in another throw in for the Bears. Looks like Ryan Healy gets uh, possession off the throw in. Meanwhile, we're gonna get a couple substitutions, including Matthew Garcia for Gavin Norton. Uh, looks like that's it for substitutions. Meanwhile, Rams are attacking on the far side. And Russell's going to pick it up with his feet. The first half of this game had a lot of excitement. Three goals, two by the Bears, one by the Rams. And the first minute of the second half had a goal for the Bears, but there's been nothing since then. And maybe sometimes nothing is all you need. Uh, if you're the Bears, you're, you, you, you like nothing. Nothing else happening means the game. Uh, meanwhile, Halbin takes a tumble. So the play is clean. If you're the Rams, you don't like nothing. You want something to happen. You want it to be your, uh, going in your favor. You need it happening as soon as possible. And Chang on, on the defense. And it is uh, Penny that's going to pick up a foul for the Rams as Ramos going to get the free kick. So 15 minutes remaining in this matchup. Ramos is going to cross over to Healy. Healy is going to pass to somebody on the far side. Little collision. No call. And their aggressiveness once again is on high. Rams pick up another foul. It's going to be Healy on the free kick. He's going to cross it over towards Ramos. Not the direction. Doesn't look like it's, it was the direction he wanted it to, but Ramos gets it regardless. Ramos is going to get it over to Mallet. Mallet to DeMello. DeMello pass to the far side. I see to Halvin. Excellent recovery there for the Bears. High kick. Trying to sit up Chang. Chang heads it. Opportunity. Kick is good, but this is a different sport. <laughs> so nothing nothing to it with that one. Which he helped up by Chang. Yeah, that um pass was towards Muchi, who's looking for his second goal of the game, and they're setting up for a corner kick. Yeah, excellent opportunity there for the Bears to extend their lead, and that would could certainly be the dagger. 
but there's another opportunity here, a corner kick for the Bears. Clock still running. 13, yeah. Less than 13 and a half minutes. Yeah. The last time the Bears won against the Rams in regular season was in 2016 when they won 2 1. So, first regular season win in a while. They did, Bears did win in the Mascac tournament against the Rams in the penalties last season. How do you find that information out? How do you. <laughs> it's, uh, I look on the Bears website and the Rams website. <laughs> It's what it's what us sports broadcasters do. Yeah, you're good at your you're you're definitely very good at your job. Meanwhile, the Rams are gonna cross it. That was Champagne with the pass. Kick it toward to uh Bolletto McCray. Bolletto McCray is gonna look for someone to pass to. It's gonna pass to Penny. Penny is gonna kick it towards the goal. A header. It's gonna stop any chance of scoring, and Ramos is gonna kick it out on defense. It's gonna be. It's gonna cause a corner kick. Receiving. Diogo Mamonge is gonna. Do, Dio, Diogo Mamonge. Okay. Think I got it down now. It's about 12 minutes left in the game. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it's better late than never. Meanwhile, that was Chang, I believe, with the head. Chang on defending Momoge. It's gonna Chang. It's gonna be Chang gonna cause another corner kick off the feet of Momoge. Momoge again with the corner kick. It's high and out. A lot of high shots from the Rams offense in this game and it's proven not to be very well for them as they're down by two goals and the clock is ticking very fast. It's 11-11 to be exact. Yeah, the, the Rams answered first in this game and the, but the Bears have answered three other times since then and it's been nothing, no response for the Rams. And Russell with the goal kick is going to kick it towards the near sideline. Little push off by Penny on Chang. Chang is going to draw the foul, and that's going to cause a free kick off the feet of Ramos. You say little push off. That was a pretty, pretty yeah. big push off. He grabbed his shoulders and pushed down. Ramos going to cross it to Healy. Healy's going to pass it. It's going to be out of bounds. Behind. The the back line is gonna be a goalie. That's it's gonna, it's gonna be a goal kick for Sturzo. Sturzo is gonna kick it towards McCray. McCray is gonna be kicking towards, yeah, out of bounds. So again, and it's gonna be a goal kick for Russell. I mean, it's been an exciting. It was ex it was an exciting first half of this game, and there's like, some excitement at the beginning of the second half. But there's been a lot of just missed opportunities for both teams. Meanwhile, it went off the head of Penny. It's gonna go in the direction of Chang. Chang passes to Moochie. Has a chance. Moochie gets checked. No call. Once again, in a in a tackle, a slide tackle off the feet of Tyler Chang. Kick was too high for Ch from Chang for to Garcia. That's gonna be Demello moving around, falling over. It's gonna be it's gonna be Rand's possession. The Rams with the free kick. It's going to be towards Bor Borletto McCray. Borletto McCray is going to cross it towards the far side. Uh, likely Gustav Hemmingson. Um, he's going to beat a long kick and the over the top save by Russell. <laughs> Russell went vertical there. 
going to touch the top of the Burj Khalifa, probably. That was, a, that was a high jump. And the save from Russell is going to cause another corner kick by, by the Rams. Meanwhile, uh, Penny is coming off for, I think, the first time in this game for the Rams. See who he's substituted for momentarily. Meanwhile, uh, Quan Gomes um, was in, um, came in for Mamugi. The bicycle kick. Trying to do a bicycle kick, but that's going to not result in anything. Meanwhile, the Rams defense, and we're going to get a whistle. Arthur Santos Silva had an opportunity there to do something awesome, but it was broken up by the Bears. And it was Cameron Lau who came in for Penny. Ram it's going to be oh a foul for the Bears is going to cause a free kick. Looks like it, it's either going to be off the feet of Kyle Santos de Silva or Cameron Lau. Could be either or. Definitely, if you're, the, if you're the Rams, you want this to be a, a quick call and then get another quick one within the next six minutes or so. And it's going to be off the feet of Kyle Santos da Silva. William Russell is able to collect it, but there's going to be another corner kick for the Bears. Uh, there's some dispute between Russell and Cena. Corner kick. Nothing to it. Nothing to it, and it's gonna. Champagne is gonna pick it up. The, the ta slide tackle, and the referee is running towards the mass of players as he whistles. All right, looks like we're gonna. Are we getting a penalty kick? Looks like a penalty kick. Cena has a chance to get his second goal of this game. And I believe of the season. Yeah, the uh, Rams have had one penalty kick during the season. That that was a goal from Kyle Santos da Silva. That's going to be Cena's first penalty kick of the season. Now that'll help the Rams, if he scores, cut the deficit in half. Now William Russell is under a lot of pressure to block this kick, and they're adding 33 seconds to the clock now. So there's a little bit more time remaining in this game. Yeah. For the Rams to yeah. answer. Russell has had experience with penalty kicks in both in both games of the turn uh, Mascot tournament last year resulted in um, penalty kicks, as I mentioned a little bit earlier. Uh, the Bears and Rams face each other, went to a penalty shootout. Uh, Bears won that one, and then in the championship game, the Bears lost to the Worcester State Lancers and the penalties. But of course this is and the other goal is good. And that's going to be Rams. Cena's second goal of the game for the Rams. And that's going to cut the deficit to 1. That's a way to answer. A little bit more time left. A little time back on the clock, 6:23. But William Russell has played a very clean game. If you take Cena out of the out of the picture, mm -hmm. Cena with two goals, one off the penalty kick, and it's it's now a one-score game. The Bears are going to want to keep this get the, the ball in Rams territory and not let Cena go anywhere near it. Yeah. Yeah. Entering this game, Cena had no goals and he only had an assist, but he's tacked on two to his resume. Uh, for for the season here in this game, uh, 
Meanwhile, Rams have possession. The Rams moving it down. And trying to tie it up before games end. Rams in great position. Unable to. Yeah, stopped by the Bears defense. And Chang. Chang's kick is going to get off the foot of McCray, but not so much. Is they're pointing to the. And it's going to be Bears ball. For a moment, it was going to be Rams ball, but. No. But change of possession. This is now only the third game on the season that the Bears have allowed more than one goal. First game was versus Wentworth, the 5 1 win at home. Second game was against UMass Boston, the 3 2 win. Now, I mean, the Bears, would they. Oh, sorry, I should say. The first game with multiple, with more than two scores was the 1-3 loss at home versus St. Joseph's, Connecticut. I misread. Rams penalty pick. kick scored um, at 83 minutes yeah, as and I mentioned 37 earlier seconds. earlier in the broadcast, that game against St. Joseph, that Goal they, scored Bears by were number supposed 17, to travel to Kufel Connecticut for, for that game, but I guess Cena's they were having an issue and they switched it here on, on September 6th. The weather was too severe to play in Connecticut, but here in Bridgewater, I mean, this field has had its own problems with severe weather. Women's soccer did have a game canceled on September 9th due, due to lightning. Again, uh, women's soccer against Salve Regina. But meanwhile... Fans are upset about the, pe the, the, the penalty call there, the foul call. Play resumes. And the Rams have possession. The Bears are trying to apply some pressure. Keep the ball out of the out of the goal. At, 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 at with uh, Cena. Yeah. Cena has it now. Another whistle. It's going to be a Rams possession. Cena with it. But yeah, once again, the the Bears fans here at Peter Mousafar Field is they're not too happy about the those calls. The clock continues to run here at Peter Mousafar Field. The Rams need a goal and they need it now or within the next three to a half minutes. But you'd want it now. Are you certain that you can try again? and take the lead right at the end. But it's blocked. Another good block by the Bears defense, but Serzo is playing at midfield. Interesting interesting choice of Serzo to play that deep. Any, any, any mistake, the Bears can get right behind him and it's an open, empty net. Yeah, according to um, Reese, some research. So, see, uh, see that this is his first. Uh, Nelson's in possession. Nelson, he's gonna try to cross it over to Mucci. That's too, f too hard. But the Bears still have possession on the far side. Mucci, little pooch kick. Fighting to keep it in bounds. Rams keeping it out. Yeah, and the Rams looks like a player was pulling on one of the Bears players, but there's no call on that play. Meanwhile, they're kicking it towards Gustav Hemmingson. Hemmingson kicks it back on the far side. Hemmingson, a great player for this Rams team. Second in points. You expect him to try to make a play here. Meanwhile, the Bears defense try to clear it out. Less than two minutes remaining in this ball game. McCray up. Oh. was high over the net. It was dangerous for a second. Yeah, Russell had a chance on that. Um, but he was lucky that kick was too high. It's going to be a corner kick. 
And it's going to be Cameron Lau. Cameron Lau taking it. So I was, I was trying to say before Nelson was attacking, this is going to be uh, Sena, uh, Sena's first goal of the first game with two goals in, in his collegiate career. Right, so we can clear this. Nelson just got there. Nice, kind of carried away. Rivera unable to do so. Rams still have it. The gust of Hemmingson. Ooh, big collision there. Where well, Russell one sitting minute on the ball. remaining in yeah. the game. Yeah, Russell is shaking up. I certainly hope it wasn't in the groin. That 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 would be hang, uh, painful. That, that, those the, those are the type of hits you feel for generations to come. Yeah, William Russell's grandchildren might feel that hit. Uh, Russell is limping. Looks like they for the final minute they might if they're going to play it safe they might bring in Ekmanis who hasn't played all all season. But it looks like Russell is going to be staying in for that final minute of the game. Yeah, William Russell is one tough cookie. He doesn't go he doesn't go down without a fight. They're looking to clear it. Bucci trying to help him out. Rivera trying to find position. It's going to be out of bounds. With 40 se 45 seconds left in the game. Beretta McRae tried to keep the ball out of Rivera's way. But gets it out of bounds instead. And it's going to be a very slow win. And Malachi and Mucci had some words exchange. Well, a lot of chippiness in this game, as this this is Mascot Conference soccer slash football. Twenty seconds remain. It looks like it's going to be a clock stops. I'm going to hold my sentence. <laughs> oh, clock continues. It's going to, it looks like it's going to be a Bears win, unless a miracle happens. And Ten seconds left. Ten, nine. Does it seem trying to make a play seven, get out of bounds? Six. Five, out of bounds. Four, All on its own. Three, three, two, two one. one. And that's Bears are gonna win three two. They extend their unbeaten streak. A six game. Seven game unbeaten streak. They're the four oh in three in that stretch. Meanwhile, the Rams are going to lose their fourth straight game. Yeah, the straight shutouts, but they were just going to goals in this game, and they were to Off the feet of Cena. They had two goals, his first two goals this season. They had great goals, but unable to get the win for the two. But it's, it's unfortunate to play so well in the two goals. Stay tuned for Bears Field Hockey. Again, Mascac Field Hockey against Westfield State Owls starting at 3 o'clock. But as for this game, uh, we wish you a great weekend. Uh, my, remember, every day is a great day to be a bear. My name is Zach McMahon. And David Caesar. Thank you for watching, folks. And from a, yeah, especially from across the world, our viewers outside the United States, thank you for watching. Uh, yeah, have a nice day. My low low head on the swivel, you know, serving me's a no no. Clean as a whistle as I pull out in my rose race. Yellow bone passenger, they see it, they say, oh boy. Shell Kelly, back it up, my call me loco. Down for arm traffic, and don't make me pull out. Ask you what you laughing at, represent that mud life. Tell me money, pretty better get your mud right. We come together, holy hands and holler, good life. We all strapping all black, it's like. Hey!